Hello YouTube, it is Tuesday the 13th of May and this is day 27 of my Vida project. It's also the third day of my five significant films and I find myself in an interesting position. You see, most times when I've been doing these videos, I have an idea of what the outcome is going to be before I start filming. So even though I'm debating with myself, I do know where I'm going to end up. Today though, not so much. I know which films I'm going to be debating about, but I'm not sure which one is actually going to end up on my list. So, let's find out together, shall we? The films in question today are the first four films in the Saw franchise. I'm putting these as two choices, as I have in the past, because the first film was written by Lee Winnell and James Wan and directed by James Wan. That's one choice. While the th second, third and fourth films were all directed by Darren Lynn Bowsman, and I'm collecting them together as one option. Now both these options have been very influential to me for similar but different reasons. And I don't want to put both of them onto the list because it would feel a little weird to have Saw 1 and Saw 2, 3, 4 as two options. Equally, I don't want to put the entire Saw franchise on the list because Source 5 through 7, while I enjoyed them, didn't have the same impact. So, what is it about these two options that has inspired me so much? Well, perhaps unsurprisingly, it comes down to their creativity and vision, yet again. In the case of the first film, you have two people who decided that they had an idea for a film and were able to persuade a studio to give them enough money to film for 18 days and create a little film that went on to have a huge impact. Not only that, but because they had such a small budget and such a limited time, they came up with some very, very interesting and ingenious ways of maximizing that budget and making the most of what little they had. That same ingenuity and minimal budget use for maximal effect was also evident in Darren Lynn Bowsman's trilogy. There are a number of times where what appears to be a swipe cut between two scenes was actually achieved in one take using the camera to move from one set to another as they went along. So it's a difficult decision to choose which of these two is going to make it onto my five significant films list. But I think in the end the original film is the one that wins. And here's why. At the end of the day, the original was the first in the series. It was the one that set the blueprint and probably inspired Darren Lynn Bowsman to use the effects and the tricks and the gimmicks that he did in his films. And for two guys from Australia to come along and have such a huge impact with their first feature film is inspiring. So James Wan, Lee Whannell, and their film, Saw, is going on my list. However, I don't think this is the last we'll see of Darren Lynn Bowsman. I have a feeling that he might be reappearing tomorrow in another guise, in actual fact. But you'll have to wait and see what's going to happen there till tomorrow. And until then, stay safe, be well, bye for now.